Hi, everybody. I'm Carrie Yates. And I'm Jan Birkins. And we are the co-authors of Shifting the Balance, Six Ways to Bring the Science of Reading into the Balanced Literacy Classroom. That's a mouthful, we know. <laughs> it's a and, lot of words. Yeah, it's a lot of words. And words are what we're talking with you about today, right, Carrie? Yeah, we're really thinking about words and how to support children in just seeing themselves as word lovers and collectors of words. Yes. And so this week in the blog, we are sharing a tool that is a list of books that are great for helping children learn to love words. And a lot of them have characters, main characters in them who are word collectors or word sleuths. Um, and we have picked out a couple that we want to share with you. It was hard. There are so many great books like this in the world. We're excited to um, recognize. Yes. So we're going to so, highlight a couple. And would you like to go first, Jan? Yes, I'll go first. I am okay. sharing Calvin Gets the Last Word. It's by Marco Sorensen, and it's illustrated by Mike. I'm going to pronounce it D's. That might not be correct. D-E-A-S. It's from Tilbury Press. Um, and it's, it's full of wonderful vocabulary. And the, the narrator in this book is Calvin's dictionary. And dictionary, um, Calvin is searching the whole book for the perfect word. Um, and I'm just gonna read you a page. This is, um, there's Calvin, he's on his bed and it says, at bedtime, Calvin slides me under his bed. I'm exhausted. That's, of course, his dictionary talking. My spine is bent. My pages are dog-eared. My cover is limp. I need a break. Even the page that slumber is on is wrinkled. And you can see slumber is the word that's highlighted here, but it's full of other interesting words. And anyway, he's always looking for the perfect word. Um, and it, the book also has a really lovely theme about family. Um, and so that is Calvin's last word. Hmm. Beautiful. Well, I brought one word from Sophia. And the authors of this book are Jim Averbeck and Yassim Ismail. And um, I just, I love the inside cover um, really sums it up. Sophia has one true desire for her birthday, but four big problems stand in her <laughs> way. Mother, father, uncle Conrad, and grandmama. And this book is really about Sophia trying to find the one perfect word that will get her that one true desire for her birthday, which is a giraffe, a pet giraffe. And you know, I'm noticing there's, I mean, they're both characters are looking for a certain word throughout the book. It's they, they almost make a nice pair, don't they? They do make a nice pair. Yes. And Sophia definitely lives in a family that, um, that values and uses a lot of um, rich vocabulary. I wanted to just share um, this one bit. Um, her four problems were mother, who was a judge, father, who was a businessman, uncle Conrad, who was a politician, and grandmama, who was very strict. And so she's presenting her case. And the first thing she, I love this sentence right here. She's got this visual ready to go. And her argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that included a map of the walk to class. So the other thing I just love about this book is the way it embeds this rich vocabulary. That one sentence alone just is like, it's full of this academic vocabulary, but it's actually embedded in this beautiful narrative that has all of the elements of story. Um, and yet her mother tells her, your argument was too verbose. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's like, what does verbose mean? And so off she goes to find the perfect word to get that one desire. 
Neat. Yeah, I love that. All right, friends. Well, yeah. we wish you happy word thinking and read aloud and book sharing. Yeah, and we've got that that list. It's downloadable. And um, boy, if you think we've missed something that should be part of that list, we'd love to get a suggestion from you. So yeah. happy, happy word learning. Bye Take all. Care. Bye.